Hi everybody, Monica here. And uh, I have to show off my cool bee shirt. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, this is just a quick update on things that are happening. Um, first of all, okay, so I'm the president of the Southern Arizona Beekeeping Association and some of you may be going, oh, where's the, where, where are y'all? Um, the officers and the uh, board of directors are discussing plans on trying to get the meetings started back up again. Um, as most of you know, they used to be held at a library and the libraries are closed for gatherings. Um, so it was suggested by a member that um, we could do parks and just uh, adhere to the social distancing and wear masks. Um, and if there's a problems with a uh, um, let's say the numbers and the gatherings, we've even suggested possibly um, doing it by region in different parks. Um, there's also suggestions of um, getting together for some hands-on activities. Um, don't know how far that's gonna go yet. This is all just in discussions and there's, um, there's a little bit of things to be ironed out and hopefully we'll get to that pretty soon. Um, <laughs> COVID is so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, um, but in the meantime, first of all, big shout out to Bob Baskin. He's the guy behind the newsletter, even though he's our treasurer, he gets that newsletter together and gets it put out. Um, the last newsletter, I didn't even, I was too busy to even have a chance to participate. And we like to thank um, those that did participate in it. And also um, really, you know, anybody who wants to participate in that, please uh, contact Bob. Um, there's been a few questions on uh, the Tucson Beekeepers page and that are like at the, you know, the most important things right now. Um, one, if you have not checked or treated for mites by now, you need to do so. Um, two, there's hardly anybody pulling any honey that I know of, I mean, I don't think there's a person that I know of pulling honey uh, for the fall harvest this year. Um, in fact, there's a lot of beekeepers that are feeding already um, and have been feeding for a period of time. Um, so nobody really is um, doing any pulling of honey. Um, and uh, the other one was the requeening. Um, and here is the big thing. Um, the uh, there are queens still available from multiple resources. I am out. You might locally try maybe Allen Hill's house or Will Fritz, see if they have any, because those of us who order in large quantities can tend to save you a lot of money, especially if you're just ordering one queen and you want to next day air her or second day air her or however um, they're getting to you. Um, you save in money by doing multiple queens in one order. So um, I tend to order about 100 at a time. I, um, and so do a, a few of the others uh, in the Tucson Beekeepers or Southern Arizona Beekeeping Association. So reach out to some of the local beekeepers before pricing your order. And um, if not, um, it's been mentioned that in spring, it can be difficult to get uh, queens. And yes, it can, especially if you're only placing an order for one or two. You have to remember queen producers have standing orders for 500 queens, 1,000 queens, 2,000 queens. And so that getting that little one or two queen order out is, um, they've are, they're already booked for the very early part of spring. So try to hook up with some other beekeepers or again, talk to those that carry the queens in the spring and see who's got them available. Um, and yes, you can still requeen um, now if you uh, want to. Um, as far as requeening now, I just helped uh, Cynthia requeen her hives and we videotaped um, the process. We actually did two out of three of the ways that I introduce uh, European queens to an Africanized hive. Um, and those should be um, available to view at the Honeybee Festival's virtual um, presentation on November 14th. So um, on November 14th, if you have time, um, you practically probably can sit in front of your computer and all day learn about local beekeeping. I think this is awesome. I really like the idea of the virtual um, um, and a hands-on festival. I think those that can't get out, even if we didn't have this COVID to think about, I think that this is a wonderful idea. 
Um, so besides that, um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, post them below. And question, when's the last time you inspected your hives and saw your Mark Queen? Like I said, minimum once a month. Get on it and let us know how they're doing. Post below.